it is given that fx equals so okay they give you the function here find the range of values of x such that fx is more than zero so they already gave you the range there so we're going to use that to find the x value so x square plus 3x minus 4 is more than zero so this one you can factorize so when you factorize you should get x plus 4 x minus 1 okay so from here you know that x equals to negative 4 and x equals to 1 so if we draw our graph negative 4 is here 1 is here so since this one is more than equal more than 0 so we know the shaded region is here and here okay so your answer should be x less than negative 4 and x more than 1 these are your answers okay the two range of x next question b the equation okay so they give you this equation here such that p and q are constant has root alpha and beta okay state the so sum of root and also product of root in terms of p and q so from here before we even start doing we have to form our equation first so p x plus q minus fx so fx is x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0 so px plus 9 minus x square minus 3x plus 4 equals 0 so we're going to put them together um as in a positive number and i mean sorry square number together and the x number together so in this case since this x square is negative i'm going to bring it over there i'm going to bring everything to the opposite side so that i get a positive x value Okay, it doesn't really matter. In the end, you still get the same answer. So you get x square positive and then um, p, okay, negative p minus 3x and then minus q plus 4. Okay, I hope you all understand how I got this. Huh? So now, what we're going to do. So from here, we know that um, we can actually straight away use the SOR POR formula. So x square minus SOR plus POR equals to zero. So from here, we know that alpha plus beta equals to sum of root right equals to P minus three. And we also know that alpha beta, which is the product of root, is equal to negative q plus 4 so it's negative q negative 4 okay when i expand it so that's what they're asking right yeah state the alpha plus beta and alpha beta so this is the answer right let's see the next one so they're telling you the root of another equation which is this has yeah i mean the root is 2 over alpha and 2 over beta express p in terms of q so this is another equation here so let's do this so they give you x square plus rx plus r equals to 10. So this one also you can do the same thing as this. Okay, I know some students, I know some of you all like to use a plus b plus c, right? That, I mean, sorry, a, b, c value, right? Then you use uh, alpha, beta, alpha plus beta equals to negative b over a. You can also do that, okay? You will get the same answer. I'm just using another way, okay? So... Um, in this case, we're going to use x square minus SOR x plus POR equals to 0. So before we even do this, uh, this 10, you have to bring it inside uh, because otherwise it's not the same. So this will be minus 10 here, minus 10 equals to 0. So from here, we know what? We know that SOR, so SOR is uh, sum of root, right? So this is 2 root here. 2 over alpha plus 2 over beta is equal to negative r. Okay, we can say negative r. And then we also know that por is equals to r minus 10. So por would be 2 over alpha 
times 2 over beta equals to r minus 10 okay let me bring it down here okay so now let us continue so here we have to simplify okay because we want to find p in terms of wait the question asks for what again express p in terms of q but if you notice there is no p in q here right so that means we have to make use of the equation above because the p in q is there okay so that means we have to simplify this so when we simplify the this first equation here we get 2 beta plus 2 alpha over alpha beta equals to negative r and then this other equation you get 4 over alpha beta equals to r minus 10 so what we can do is we can find both equation uh, find uh, find this equation find the r value and substitute into the r value of the other equation okay so that's what we're going to do so from here we can form this right you can sub, uh, factorize the top here so alpha plus beta so what is alpha plus beta p minus 3 right so we can straight away substitute p minus 3 here over alpha beta is negative q maybe i shouldn't write negative q i just write negative q plus 4 okay i write like this equals to negative r so these two you can you can cut okay so let me scroll down huh? okay so what you get is 2p minus 3 over q plus 4 equals to r so we're going to take this substitute into the x uh, the r value there okay substitute so when you substitute you should get 4 over so alpha beta is negative okay i write here negative q plus 4 equals to so r value is 2 p minus 3 over q plus 4 minus 10 okay so i'm gonna write the negative on top here so it's easier for me to see so it's a um, negative 4 over q plus 4 equals to so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this 10 over why because we are looking for p right so that means i need to isolate this equation here isolate the equation here so i should get plus 10 equals to 2 p minus 3 over q plus 4 mm, what can i do now okay okay so i bring this over okay so that means i multiply the whole thing here by q plus 4 so i get so this q plus 4 and this q plus 4 you can cut okay so you get negative 4 plus 10 q plus 40 equals to 2 p minus 3 okay so 10 q plus 36 equals to 2 p minus 3 okay so i'm going to write here i got no space here anymore right this side huh? so what we can do is we can factorize this right because after that you can eliminate with this 2 here so when i factorize i should get 2 5 q plus 18 divided by 2 Okay, where the two where this two came from because initially it was here right so i bring the two over so i get divide so here you can cancel so 5q plus 18 equals to p plus eh, sorry p minus 3 so since you want to find for p just bring the 3 the other side plus 18 plus 3 so p is equals to 15q plus 21 Okay, so that's what the question is asking for. Express P in terms of Q. So this is your answer.